started, go on, put your hands up. If you wanna get it started, go on, put your hands up. All my ladies in the front, all my thugs in the club. If you looking for some love, go on, put your hands up. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. If you can't hit a party, go on, put your hands up. All my ladies in the front, all my thugs in the club. If you looking for some love, go on, put your hands up. Good evening and welcome to the Stephen Knight Show here on Indy 104 iRadio LA. I want to thank you as always for joining us tonight. Now, tonight we are live with the latest in sports, fashion, music, and of course, movie reviews. And then today we welcome Adeja Obi and Tayo Tango, founders of iGo, an eco-friendly premium eyewear company, on a mission to improve the quality of life for underprivileged children in developing countries. Plus, on our artist spotlight, we feature the talented Authentic. And then, in Hot Topics, we discuss the controversy over actor Nate Parker's past. keeps coming up while he's on his promo tour. And then Kim Kardashian and uh, Kanye West, their fears of a new sex tape being leaked. All that and much more. I want to remind you we're all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, and, of course, our official website, the Stephen I Show .com. Go up, Follow us on Instagram and find out how you can become one of our VIP members of our mailing list. Also, want to remind you, we are nominated for the 2016 Hottest Entertainment Awards. So excited about this. We won this back in 2012. And we want to win it again, but we need your help. So go to atlhottest.com and vote for us for online hottest online radio show. And while you're there, you can vote for your boy. I was nominated for a future superstar. So definitely appreciate that. When we come back, she can't have to tell us what's going on in the world of movie reviews. Right back after this. Before this life feels incredible. Together we can do anything. So eternal feels like infinity. Baby, I run to the end of time. Just you have you in my life. I never, never, never let go and give me your hand. Don't grab.
Welcome to my show. CK, what's going on? Brother, how are you? I'm doing well. Adam just told me he is unavailable, so it's all on you tonight. You got that? Thanks, Adam. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> well, how was the weekend? Uh, weekend was pretty good. Uh, I had a good last week. I, you know, our friend of the show, Laura Mazurk, uh, had me on her radio show. And, oh, yeah. uh, I saw that. it was a very, uh, passionate, and I stress passionate discussion about, uh, what's going on in the climate of the country and race and prejudice and all that good stuff. And we made a good old heated gumbo on that show that day. So mm. if you want to, you can go to my Facebook and check it out. I, I was on Facebook Live when we were recording. So the whole show, two segments, uh, check it out. Maybe to start a discussion somewhere else. But, yeah, definitely that was do that. the highlight of my last week. Yeah, definitely do that. Check it out. I'm going to check it out myself. As you know, that's, it's all over the news, what everyone's talking about. So I was going to hear you all discuss. Yeah. Well, what's going on in the world of movie reviews? Okay, so I don't know if you've seen or heard about the killer clowns running around in the street. Yeah. What's yeah. going on with that? Well, let, pause. Can we put a pause on that, and then I'm going to tell you about the movie, and then we're going to come back to that. Okay. okay. So I want to go be in the theme of everything. It's Halloween. The, the killer clowns are out. I'm going to go see. It's called Clown Town. It's rated NR. Okay. I'm thinking that it was probably going to be a bad movie, like uh, um, seriously B, but it turned out it was very scary. I mean, especially with the climate of what's going on now under the premise on which I want to go see it. And it's just uh, psychopaths running around killing people basically because they want to, not because you did something, not because I'm robbing you, not because, just because I want to kill you. That's scary. Yeah, that is scary. Very because scary. if you think about that, you think about what kind of person would put on a clown outfit and then go out and start terrorizing people. Clowns just be joyful. At least right. they're supposed to be. And right. they're just terrorizing people. So anyway, back to the film. Um, on the premise that it was, it, was, it was chilling to me. And I couldn't even say that it was a horror. I couldn't say that it was a slasher. I couldn't say that it was a crime thriller because it, it had all of those in it. So it was just uh, a very macabre, dark, troubling movie. It troubled me a little bit. So if that's your twist and that's what you're into, by all means, go check out this film. Um, if not, stay away. And, you know, with the climate of everything, if you don't have, you know, that strong constitution about yourself, you might want to stay away from this film because it will have you scared no. to be at home. I want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I know Miss Parker does too. You know she loves. No, she don't. Movies. She doesn't do that. No, she doesn't do that. <laughs> okay. So what is going on? So the clown is a clown going around killing people? Not a clown. Just uh, there's people in different places around the country. It's a fad that's catching on, and people are dressing up like clowns, especially you know with Halloween coming up, just terrorizing people, scaring yeah, that's them. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good because I mean, it's, it's, from there it can only with... escalate. Just think about what kids and their families out there trick or treating this year. Right. Hope they have to deal with this foolishness. That's crazy. Right. So now, not only are you, I mean, I know Halloween isn't everyone's twist, and people are into what they're into. But when I was a kid, at least what I got out of that time period was the camaraderie with my fellow children, and we actually got together and went out and played outside. And our families were able to be along with us while we were with our friends outside trick-or-treating. It was activity. It wasn't anything about paganism. It wasn't about any of that. It was just neighbors getting together with the children and going out and having fun. That's what it was about. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. So, uh, anyway, that's crazy. What else yeah. is going on? Did you, did you see anything else or is anything coming No, up? that that was all I saw because, you know, I said I was going to stay uh, yeah. closer to the, yeah. to the indie circuit. And, um, you know, the turn of events happened where I couldn't come to Atlanta because, you know, I'm supposed to be down there right now, but it didn't happen. Uh, but um, I have to get back on my bandwagon of going to the theater. I've been uh, – Chucking my responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> You're a busy man, though. It's not going to get this chill and relax. <laughs> I'm fighting a good fight. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> all right. Well, stay on for our topics if you can. Um, I, I sure will. All right. Well, listen, when we come back, everyone's going to tell us what's going on in the world of sports. Right back after this. Yeah. 
This evening, nice show. Hey, Ron, what's going on? Hola, mi amigo. Como just, está? Com- just coming off uh, bien, you too? <laughs> just coming off of uh, bien, bien. Of um, midterms. How how'd they go? 
Ah, uh, it went great. It's 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 going going very well. Um, so far, out of um, out, out of the ex exams that I've taken so far, I know that I've gotten um, two A's so far. I, I don't know what the uh, rest of my grades are yet. So, well, congratulations. I, that's I that's too. When I do, I will I will let everybody know. But yes, yeah, so far, I'm balling. Well, you're making us proud for sure. Thank for you. sure. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, I know a lot going on in sports. Go ahead, take it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, can we kind of piggyback off of what we had talked about last week, just for a minute? When it when it comes to my um, my um, my my lack of um, picking um, winning teams, <laughs> my skills when it comes to that, or lack lack thereof. Um, I've had better success in weeks past. Yes. You know, like that particular week was a bad week because there were a lot of teams that a lot of people um, predicted would win these games and they lost. So mm -hmm. it's not only me. You know, come on, Pina. It, 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 happened. <laughs> it happened. It happened. It happened. Yeah. But I will say this, though, also. It, you know, some of my picks, Mm, they're a little shady, you know, they're a little crazy and everything, but um, needless to say, um, I'm going to start back up with picking um, picking winners again um, in in the coming weeks. I've been, like, like I said, studying for midterms, so yeah, midterms, yeah. I have to kind of focus on that, but now that that's all done and stuff, I can, um, I can really start to really focus more on these teams and and hopefully come out with some with some actual winners. Exactly. We shall see. Uh, Tom Brady, he's back. Back. You didn't know what happened with um, Tom Brady? Yeah, well, he injured. He was injured, right? No. Nah, so, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. He wasn't injured. He's been nice. Where have, have you been under... Not only one rock. I, have, like, I remember like, something like happened. Like a mountain rock. Have you been in like a cave for like the past? Um, I have been. My life's been so busy, hard to keep up everything. But what happened to him? Deflate gate. Did you hear it? Deflate gate. Uh, Deflate gate. Yes. Okay. He okay. was suspended for oh, yeah, the first four games of the season. He that's wasn't right. an injury. Nah, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> oh, it's coming back to me now. Deflate gate. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. We, we gon' we. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. Was well, he injured? Okay. Okay. We'll say that. Yeah. Okay. So he's yeah. he's back from his four four he's, game suspension. He's back. He's back uh -huh. from the four game suspension, and the Patriots clobbered Cleveland, thirty three to thirteen. Okay. Um, so they're back on their winning ways. So congratulations, Pat Patriots, and yeah. All right. Tom Brady's back. Uh the Falcons. They won. They won again, didn't they? Yes, they did. Yeah, they won again. And they started they off beat, again, right? And they beat undefeated Denver, who was undefeated mm -hmm. at home yeah. in Denver. So, the, the and am I for? Do I believe that they're like for real, for real, for real, for, for, for real? Um, if this, if the NFL was an eight-week season, if it had right. an eight-week season, then I would say yes. Because this is week, what, this is week, what <laughs> week is this, four or five? It's a 16-game season. Huh? So what, what week is this? This is week, well, um, last, this, this is week five. And week so five, week, right. And know, so week remember, six starts this coming week. Huh? I think last season they were 0 and 6, I mean 6 and 0. Um, beginning Around of that time, right. Six and, and then it all went, I think yeah. they were 5 and 1. Something like 5 that. and 1? Okay. You no, know, something like that. But, yeah, they were... They were hyped, right, right, right. They, and they were playing good. Like, mm -hmm. but then all, all of a sudden, midway through the season, the um, wheels started just to fall right. off. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just gonna wait again. Let's let's just chill, y'all. You know, everybody talking about talking this fight. Nah, 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 chill, chill. <laughs> let it marinate. Let it let it summer. Let it summer. But what about Dallas though? Dallas is Dak Prescott. Easy. Ezekiel um, Elliott, man, these guys are for real. Yeah, you said they were killing it this season. 
And I'm not. A, I'm telling you, I am so not a Dallas mm-hmm. Cowboys fan. Right. I'm not. But I enjoy this team. This team is a team that I am actually rooting for. I like this team. Um, when Tony Romo comes back from injury at week eight, I believe it's going to be some. It's going to be some drama because if the Cowboys are seven and one or six and and two and they're playing well and winning, do you do you stop that and bring right. it home, or do mm-hmm. you still ride with the rookie quarterback, man? What I would mean, you do if you were the coach? <sighs> you know, I would keep it moving. Like, just keep if If I'm winning, it, to me, it makes no sense to me. If, if, and especially if uh, Tony Romo would all – Due respect, Tony Romo is an aging quarterback. Like he's right. He, when it comes to players in the NFL, to athletes, he's an elder. He's okay. old. And, and come off his, injury. And not only is he old, right, he just came off another yeah. injury. Like this, that was not his first injury. He had mm-hmm. ne- injury after injury after injury. And I got this um, this hot young quarterback and running back who are who are playing well together. The offensive line playing well together. It, it's I'm 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 not gonna mess it up. I'm sorry. I just cannot mess it up. I am riding yeah. him all the way, and he is the future. He to me, um, Dak Prescott is the future of Dallas, um, of the Cowboys. Tony Romo to me is is the past. Like it's yeah. so. Others might feel you know Dak is isn't ready yet. He's too young. Let Tony come in, and maybe Tony can help take him over, over the hump. Nah, I don't, I don't think so. Cause okay. Okay. he's definitely doing the, he's doing his yeah. job. As a, if it's not, as a, I'm not going to change. Yeah. Things. yeah, just let it, let it ride. So yeah. we'll um, see what happens. Um, yeah. But yeah, Dallas, yay. Uh, <laughs> the Giants lost again. There are some issues going on up in um, New York. The Giants is not is not looking good right now. Just what not. do you think the issue is at this point? Um, the offensive line, the um, defense isn't that bad. It's it's the offense. It, it's mm-hmm. they're just not. It's I I don't know if if um, Odell Beckham's heart is still in the game. He seems like he's kind of frustrated, like he's kind of over it. He's even said that 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 um he's not in it right now. Like his his mind's not really in the game. So uh, it's, it's 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 not looking good. They need to make some um changes really really, really quickly. Oakland. Yeah. Oakland Raiders, who would have thought Oakland Raiders are playing great football right now? The Oakland Raiders, y'all. Oakland. Mm. Oakland. Oakland. <laughs> and, and the Rams are playing good football. L.A. Rams, man, what a difference a, a change of scenery makes. Saint, a new day. When yeah. they were in St. Louis, they were, you know, pretty much the um, Latin stock of the league. Mm-hmm. L.A. has 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 done them very well. The sun, What's the, going on, the huh? beach, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're playing very well, and um, the Ravens lost again. Two. This is their second loss in the road this season. They are three and two, and um, they lost to the Washington Red Redskins. Great win for the um, Redskins. Redskins. Um, bad, bad, bad loss. For the Ravens, um, especially when uh, Pittsburgh won. So if Pittsburgh winning, Baltimore losing, Pittsburgh right now is in control of the um, AFC North. So um, Ravens, come on, y'all, wake up, wake up, wake up. Ah, uh, that's pretty much it, man. For sports, like I said, I'm not going to pick. Um, <laughs> Any winners until, um, if not next week, then the week after next. So. Week after that. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. Well, hey, Ron, as always, thank you so much, man, for, you know, keeping me, because I'm the one that needs it the most, I guess. 
help the former go on to the sports. <laughs> go on, have a good week. Look, when we come back, Ms. Ferguson's here to tell us about what's going on, everything in fashion. Right back after this. Okay, hey, this is Darius McCarry. You're listening to the Stephen Knight Show. Welcome back show. to the Stephen Knight Show. Ms. Ferguson, how's it going? I'm doing well. How are you tonight, Stephen? I'm doing good. I can't complain. Can't complain. Uh, I know you got some wonderful things for us. I do. Um, being that today is Columbus Day, yes, I have tons of deals for you guys. Um, and I don't know if anybody's like me, but I'm trying to get a kickstart on my um, Christmas shopping. I know it's October, and I know it's way in advance, but you can find better deals like between now and Veterans Day than I think you would be able to find um, during the holidays. And the reason for that is because, you know, the old myth that they mark things up just to mark mm-hmm. them down again. Well, you yeah. know, now around this time of year, they're actually just trying to make space for winter items. So you can probably find a lot of great deals better now than you would later on in the year. Okay. Um, so I try to, you know, I'm trying to get a kickstart on my um, on my holiday shopping. But yeah. anyway, um, Old Navy is having a sale, um, and we're right in the middle of it. It's called the Fall for All event, and um, if you shop now, you can get up to 50% off of everything in store, plus an extra 10% off of everything when you shop online uh, and use the code ENJOY at checkout. Um, Carter's is having a sale, of course. I have to do it for my babies. Um, They're having a sale today only, and this is for Columbus Day. Um, You can shop now and get 50% off of everything, plus you can get an extra 20% off of your $40 purchase or more. Um, If you're in the market for a dressier look, and this is for the ladies, today is the last day to shop Jones, New York, and get $25 off of $100, $50 off of $200, or $75 off of $300. Um, and if you're shopping online, you have to use code NYFALL, and that's N-Y-F-A-L-L, at checkout. Uh, the Gap is having a sale today for Columbus Day, um, and if you shop now, you can get 40% off of your purchase, and that does include sale and clearance items, um, which is a steal because Gap uh, hardly ever does that. Um, and, of, of course, if you're shopping online, you have to use code CRISP at checkout. A Solstice is having a sale, um, and you can get an extra 25% off of all sale items. And of course, Solstice, uh, they sell sunglasses, and if you, if you know, they sell everything from, you know, Oakley to Ray-Ban to Dolce & Gabbana and D&G and, you know, just all, all types of, um, all types of designer sunglasses. So you can, you can get um, 20, an extra 25% off of the sale items. Um, if you're in the mood, if you're in the market for some hats, Lids is having a sale, um, and you can get 30% off of all of their clearance items. Today is the last day to shop Neiman Marcus. Last call and get an extra 30% off of everything. Plus, you can get an extra. Plus, you can get an extra. Um, I'm sorry about that. Pause. <laughs> plus, you can get an extra 10% off um, online. It's online if you use code Columbus at checkout. Target is having a sale just in time for Halloween. If you shop now, you can get five dollars off. If you shop, I'm sorry. If you shop, if you spend twenty five dollars, excuse me, twenty five dollars, you can get five dollars off of Halloween costumes and decor, and you can save ten dollars off of a, off with your forty dollar purchase off of a Halloween costumes and decor. Um, you can get. Enjoy an extra twenty percent, twenty dollars on Shutterfly for free, and I think I always talk about Shutterfly from time to time. They give you the, like these deals, and right now they're just giving you twenty bucks just to use toward whatever you want. Um, if you want to get an item that is just twenty dollars, you can do that as well. And all you'll have to do is pay for shipping and handling. So that's a really good deal, especially if you want to get a keepsake item for someone um, or just yourself. Steve Madden is having a, a sale. You can shop there now and get and buy one, get one 50% off of everything in the store. Plus, you can get free shipping, um, but you have to hurry and shop because the sale ends today. Today is the last day to shop 9 West and save up to $40 on your order. And last but not least, today is the only day that you can shop the Eva Longoria collection at the Limited and get 40% off of your purchase. 
Wow, a lot of sales tonight, huh? Yes, yes, they're doing it all for Columbus Day. That's right. That's right. Well, as always, thank you so much for helping us look good at a good price. And I know they can find all that at BudgetShopHall.com, correct? They surely can. All right, well, have a great week, and uh, enjoy. I know it's your, uh, your fiancé's birthday, so you all have a great night. Yes, we will. We will actually, you know, we're, we're tucking out. We're about to get in the bed. <laughs> we're old people now. Yeah, this is so. Timothy Bloom, and you're listening to the Stephen Knight Show. When we come back, it's going to be our spotlight. Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Well, now it's time to go into our artist spotlight. Each week we select a hot artist to be featured on our homepage as well as in our artist spotlight section on our website at thestephenightshow.com. If you're interested in being considered, please email us at submissions at thestephenightshow.com. Include your bio, promotional photos, social media sites, and a radio-friendly MP3. We definitely look forward to hearing your work. Now, tonight in our spotlight, we welcome the talented, authentic, who's a friend of the show. He has a brand-new single called Tell Me. Check it out. And when we come back, it'll be high time. Okay, thank you. I've been on you for a minute. Low key, double tap while I'm flicking. Got my cuz as a mutual, but you don't even know me. I can hit you up with a DM, but I ain't trying to show you that I'm crushing. But I've been trying to figure out how to make you notice that I'm qualified to step to you correctly. And I'm not gonna fight if you have to reject me, but it's looking like you're interested. Heard all that from Truth, cause I'm really feeling you Tell me what you wanna do Now we've been talking for a minute So tight, feel like you could be my fitted And girl, the way that you move gets me so hooked, I'll admit it And you ain't even let me hit it Cause you don't wanna rush and kill the moment But you ain't gotta worry about a thing, I promise, girl That I'm qualified to step to you correctly And I'm not gonna fight if you have to reject me for it. know how you could take up all my time. I like to chase you. Yeah, I see it all up in your eyes. And every day you hitting me with all of your best lines. I'm not lying. Yeah, I see you fly. My kind of guy. You a boss to stay on your grind. Ain't got to try. Ain't got to try. Just be patient. Promise you won't be waiting for long. Want to be sure you the right one. Come on. You know I can't make it easy for you. Tell me. Can you make it do what it do? So uh, you want me to be a part of your crew? You want to be the one that I'm calling my boo? That's cool. You know you got to come correct. Cause can't he ain't got time for the disrespect Hope we connect like magnets You could be my captain or else I'll be doing good the next time Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Now, yeah, Miss Parker, what's going on? What's up? What's up? What's going on? 
What's going on? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. How was the weekend? It was great. It was it was uh, active and good. Yeah. How was yours? It was good. It was, all right, yeah. I mean, my my Monday was my weekend was great. Um, I flew to go to Miami, but you know, with the storm and everything, uh, we did didn't got another part where you were going as well. But I do fly out to Portland tomorrow. I can see my sisters, and that'll be great. That'll be great. That's awesome. What about you, Nadia? Oh man, good weekend. Um, just getting over this hurricane. Yeah. Um, hit hit South yeah. Florida and uh, a few other places, and still still rolling through. So. Uh, sending plenty of prayers out and, and have checked yeah. on friends and uh, family members of friends to, to kind of see if there's anything that can be done or if they need any help. So that's pretty yeah. much what the weekend was like, yeah, yeah. And I, and I definitely have thoughts and prayers go out to those in Haiti. I think over 100 people um, were killed and even some people were died in Florida. So um, definitely um, thoughts and prayers that way. Big prayers, yes, sir. Uh, all right, y'all ready to get in the hot topics? We're ready. ready. Let's go. CK, you there? All right, I go. am. All right, well, actor Nate Parker has been promoting his new film, Birth of the Nation, which came out last week, um, appearing on shows such as Good Morning America, Watch What Happens Live, etc. And the topic of his 1999 rape allegations continue to be the dominating talking point with each appearance. Now, Parker was acquitted of those charges and seemed to be annoyed by the question regarding the 1999 case. Do you think it's fair for reporters to question him about charges after being acquitted over a decade ago? Well, I, think that, um, I think that at this point he probably should have respected it. I know he did, um, he did an interview with 60 Minutes last week, and I think he did an awesome job as far as answering the questions. I think his, his goal with that interview was to kind of put those questions to rest. But being that he is an actor and he's in, in this industry, he should know that that's not how it works. You know, they're, they're, they're in the business of trying to get, uh, you know, the most sensational stories, and um, it's just them doing their job. If I was him, I, I would play cool, not take it personal. Um, I know that he wanted to focus to be on the movie, but unfortunately now his path is part of the movie. Um, and, 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 you know, I, I hope that he's able to just keep his cool and, and, and move forward and keep the focus on what's really important. And if this movie, you know, it tends to be really important to him, you know, try to keep his focus on that. Yeah. We actually uh, were talking about this particular film on um, Lower Missouri show. And um, Nate Parker probably would not be experiencing any of this if he didn't have a hit movie on his hands. Uh, this is a movie that started out from the indie world with a small buzz, just a small community, and it grew to now into major motion pictures, theaters across the country. You don't believe that this is um, like a smear campaign? Not saying that the allegations aren't, you know, true, that he didn't do what he did back then, but why are they talking about it? They wouldn't be talking about it if he was still indie. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, you didn't hear about it when it was in the... <laughs> the right. No, I, I definitely believe that the whole allegation came out to smear him, but I think he's handled it well since. You know, things, things like that happen, especially when you have a movie that is pointing the finger at the ugly America at, that people mm-hmm. want to to, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so um, I, I think from my standpoint, it was to be expected, and I think that I guess the question was, do you think it's fair? Unfortunately, it's not, but I think the best way he can handle that is by keeping his cool and keeping the focus on what it really belongs. Because I think, you know, if you, the more you react to something, I think the more you take attention from what's important. Um, so getting upset or being annoyed, then that becomes another story, right? But if you keep on, if you keep on, keep on, um, keep on the same line of, 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 um, of, I guess, offense or defense or whatever you want to say, when you're asking that question, you keep your cool, ask the question forward, and then redirect the attention back to why you're there. I think it'll become less, it will be less incentive to next report your action about that. But no, I absolutely agree. I think that it was all brought up because of the, the nature of the movie and, and trying to discourage people from going to see it. Interesting point. Now, your, your thoughts? Yeah, mine are the same as Ms. Parker's, uh, to be very honest. I agree. I think that, uh, this is expected. This is entertainment. That's what reporters do. 
Uh, and I don't even necessarily think it's a smear campaign. I think that's just what reporters do. Their job is to get people uh, engaged with whatever the media uh, is saying, whether good or bad. So if it was something great that he did prior to this, and they probably bring that up more than his current project as well, um, I think it's media. And, and media, just like she said, is uh, primarily founded in sensationalism, sensationalism. You know, what's hot? What's now? What can we get people to react to? Uh, and that's just so the media personalities and the media entities can get their money off of whatever it is that this other, uh, you know, that, that their main, you know, target is getting. You know, so that, that's what it is. It's, it's all expected to me, and I just think it's part of it. Is it fair? Eh, who cares? You know, it's, it's the media. It's, it's, it's what they do. So it's always going to be expected for me. That's true. And, and I do agree with Ms. Parker that he's handled it very well. Um, people on Good Morning America and Robert, Robert asked him about it. At first he was like, what are we talking about? And she, and she brought it up. And, you know, he said, you know, this movie is bigger than me. The movie that I'm here to promote is bigger than me. It's about our American uh, history. And, right. Uh, you know, and, and he kind of he deflected. He said he's already addressed it. He sat down, did an interview, answered questions. Um, they wanted to keep. They wanted him to feel sorry and apologize for it, but he said he can't feel sorry for something he didn't do. Although he's sorry that she ended up, the woman ended up, you know, taking her life years later. You know, but yeah, uh, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get him caught in a situation where if he says he's sorry. Then right. the conversation then becomes, mm -hmm. well, if, you're, if you didn't do anything, why are you why sorry? Why are you sorry? Exactly. Right. Yeah. But he's handled it well. He's handled it well. All right. Next topic. So after being hit with a federal tax lien, Nene leaks apparently facing more tax troubles. The uh, very, very rich Biatch apparently owes the state of Georgia $95,232.19, adding to an already whopping $824,000 in back taxes she owes the federal government. Now, according to the Daily Mail, uh, former Real House of Atlanta star Nene Lee's financial troubles continue to worsen as she hit the second, ta second tax lien in four months. Um, this time it's for nearly $100,000. As reported, she, now she did clap back, of course, Nene, in Nene fashion. Uh, she said that her tax, her tax woes were an oversight and posted on Instagram with a picture of her smiling saying, y'all know I'm broke and I don't have jobs. What are your thoughts on Nene Lee and her tax problems? <laughs> New money. <laughs> new money. She's don't know new what to do money. With it. She don't know what to do with it yet. She's new money. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably a great deal to do with that. new money and and just and just getting in her groove, getting the right people around her to help her to sort it out and figure out how to pay. You know what she's supposed to be paying on. She probably just just needs a little more help, and uh, she's probably just getting in the groove. I think. I don't think and, she's and, dodging or avoiding anything. I think she's just getting. And, in the groove. and the uh -huh. the other thing about the other thing about the type of celebrity she is, because of the type of celebrity she is, part of her business is spending money. She mm -hmm. has now put herself in the predicament of she has to perpetuate this image that she created for herself, and it is of decadence. So she's probably spending a lot more than she's bringing in in order to keep up the, the Nini brand or the Nini look. She has to do that. A lot of stars get in trouble that way, especially in the beginning. Yeah. That is true. That is true. And the fact that I think, you know, I have a friend that always says there's a price to pay for when you do things like if you do wrong, there's a price to pay for it. And the fact she's going around saying that she's very rich and then that she's here with this tax, which doesn't mean she doesn't have money, but <laughs> obviously something ain't right. You know, you know what I mean? So I don't know. I mean, we wish her well, of course. And she she did do a tour of her new home, and it's looking good. So she's doing, she doing them right in some places. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Pay your taxes. <laughs> All right, well, listen, uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about Kim Kardashian and a possible new sex tape. And then Bill Clinton's rumored uh, son that he had with a prostitute. Why back I got finished? Baby, we can make that happen, I know 
look like he's single and just about ready to be mine So, girl, it ain't no problem, baby, girl, it ain't no problem, problem, hey It ain't no problem, girl, about to show you a little bit of my world So good that I'ma make it toast, girl Bumping, grinding, whenever that waist twirl Shiny, I bet you're happy that you showed up, showed up Gonna turn that freaky mode up, no hold up I'm about to pick the flow up, load up in your body And after that, I'ma blow up I wanna see Body, body, all of me I know that you're the truth Cause right now, baby, you're giving me all the proof Oh, just let me get into you I don't caught your attention, now you want me to Got curiosity on you And so we ain't about to waste no more time For love, glad you feel the same cause we on both been doing up But I still want you girl, you know I don't ever buff We can make love tonight tomorrow, keep it out, what's up, yeah You gon' like it, just roll with it In my phone when you is home alone with it Ain't a question, you know that I'm gon' come with it Probably up you with a couple new tones with it, ay. We can do this right here, I don't use the town So you gonna benefit, Got it on the couch Then we take it to the bed, keep it moving like what we say All right, welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. I want to remind we're all over social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and everything. Just go to StephenKnightShow.com and you'll, you'll, you'll find us. Uh, and coming up, we have um, the founders of iGo. You definitely want to hear about the things they're doing uh, for the community, and they have some very nice eyewear, too. Anyway, well, Kim Kardashian has already overcome one sex scan- tape scandal, but the reality star is now fearful another may be on the way because of thieves who robbed her at gunpoint in Paris. Uh, they took her phones and which she had lots of personal images and videos. Now, she apparently suffered enough trauma when she went through it the first time, although she did make a lucrative career off of it, but she's afraid that it could happen again. What are your thoughts on uh, a new possible Kim Kardashian sex tape? Sounds to me like she wants another overhaul of her fame, so she's going to release a sex tape. Who's on it this time? We don't know, but you never yeah. know with her. She's it you know, sounds like, contrived. So, yeah, they're so fam crazy. Like you never know what's real and what's not. So it's kind of hard to say. <laughs> yeah, it just it just sounds crazy, man. You know who? And, and then there's another story for the show. There's another story already right, for the show. Another story for the show. And but who who wants fame like that? You know, what I mean, I guess they do. But that just sounds crazy to me. It just sounds ridiculous. I mean. At this point in time, find something to do unless you just want to be a porn star. You know, I mean, you're already an actress. You're already a model. You're already, you know, a celebrity's wife and such and such. What, what, what is this sex tape business all about? I know you're not that reckless to where you got this type of stuff on your phone. I know you're not right. that reckless. So, so what is all of this about, man? If she, she might as well just go on and be a porn star. She might as well go ahead and commit. <laughs> Sign the contract and commit, you know? Go the whole way. Go the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then also she's a mother. She has two kids, young kids, right? And 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 in this day and age, everything we put out there is gonna be all. It's gonna be here forever. You know what I mean? And her kids have to go to school and have to, all that stuff. So, I mean, hopefully there is no new sex tape. But you know, especially you know how famous and popular you are, you can't be having all this stuff. You gotta be careful. Man, I'd be traumatized if I was wake if I was growing up as a child hearing that my mother was. First, right. hearing about the first one and then hearing about a possibility of another sex tape with my mom. Like, come on, that's crazy. That's crazy, <laughs> man. 
Right. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Well, rumors that Bill Clinton uh, once fathered a child with a prostitute have reemerged as a now 30-year-old male uh, makes, a, makes a bid to have the former president recognize him as his son. Danny Williams started a Facebook page in December under a new name, Danny Williams Clinton, uh, which apparent intention of grabbing the Clinton. Um, but Danny, again, he's 30 years old. He says that Bill Clinton is his father. Uh, rumors about this first surfaced in 1985 when Clinton was the governor of Arkansas. His mother, now Danny's mother, Bobby Ann Williams, who was a prostitute, says she's certain that Clinton is the father since he was the only white client she had at the time. Now, again, he made so he's mixed? Yeah, yeah, he's mixed. I love uh-huh. him. Uh, and so apparently uh, Hillary, back in the day, she banished him, um, and the Clinton camp has refused to comment on these claims. What are your thoughts? Uh, Bill is going to lead back to Hillary some way, some fun way or fashion. So Bill needs to take the test and say, yes, it's my son, and then they need to invite him to Thanksgiving dinner, and they all sit around and have dinner as a family. That would right, be and epic. The first time they can probably eat some good soul food. That would be <laughs> epic. <laughs> I knew, I, knew Bill, I knew Bill was down for the swirl. Bill looked like he's mixed somewhere down the line himself. So uh, my, daddy, my daddy always said, that Chelsea Clinton ain't white. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> take that test, Bill. Get them, get that test, So, brother. yeah, just take the test. And, I mean, it's, it's bad timing for, for Hillary, but I think at this point everyone knows that Bill's been out there and he's, you know, he's do his thing. So, it is what it is. I think people who are supporting Hillary um, are more concerned now about um, Donald Trump not getting in the office. Right. Still Clinton, so. Hil- Hillary, Hillary's disclaimer, she'll be like, I'm not new to this. I'm just true to this. That's exactly. it. <laughs> she ain't got, Hillary ain't got nothing to worry about as long as Trump is uh, is, right. is running is yeah. a candidate. Yeah, she ain't got nothing to worry about. They can come and bring it, any dirt out on her and her family. She good. Speaking of, speaking of Trump, this was this one of my talks. Speaking of Trump. You know what he said at a rally last week? He said, it was right after the uh, VP debate, he, he said to the crowd, for all terminal ill patients that may have just got bad news, you have two weeks to live, hold on to November 8th. Vote for me. Well, what? Thank you. We'll always be indebted to you. And I thought it was fake. I thought when someone told me that it was fake until I saw the video. What? That man is crazy. <laughs> Hold on to November 8th. <laughs> he's, he's American. Oh, he is crazy. He's definitely American. Oh. <laughs> now you're going after the terminal ill vote, too? Oh, oh my goodness. Trump, oh, is, my Trump is going in. He ain't got nothing I, to lose. He, he said, we ain't got nothing to lose. He said, y'all broke. Y'all ain't got no jobs. Y'all right. living in poverty. He said, what else you got to lose? Vote for me. You're getting shot at. Yeah, we're getting shot at. And you know they're debating right now. As <laughs> while we're live, I can't. I'm gonna go back and watch the, uh, you know, highlights when we finish the show. But I mean, that man. If it, y'all please vote. Everyone register <laughs> to vote. Make sure you vote. <laughs> All right. Our last topic. Last topic. Um, Kid Cudi, um, has had a number of ups and downs and emotional outbursts over the years, and it seems that the reasoning has finally come to light. In a lengthy personal letter to his fans, uh, Cudi revealed uh, that he has been battling severe depression and anxiety for as long as he's been known in the public. He says that it has kept him from being his best self in years. And apparently he's been fighting suicidal urges and recognized it's time to get help, which he did check into um, rehab center for, um, for those issues. What are your thoughts on that? I applaud him. I mean, we don't take mental health seriously at all in this country. We really don't. And I applaud him for, for standing up and taking charge of his own health. I really do. Yeah, so do I. I thought that was a really, really brave and courageous thing that he did. Uh, you know, because as men, we, we, we always, just like you said, we're taught to kind of just, you know, man up. And uh, that can do a lot of damage to, you know, an individual. Um, so, the space that he's creating all over Instagram and just social media, period. I think it's awesome. I think it's positive, progressive. Um, Of course, people are always going to find the dark spots, but I think overall this is a great thing that he has done and something that he has created probably unintentionally for our, uh, you know, male community as uh, as well, which is going to help a lot of uh, men. 
I believe, mm-hmm. and young boys. So I applaud him as well, Chike. Yeah, I, I agree. He has a lot of fans, and, you know, people go through this all the time, and it's never diagnosed, it's never addressed. And if someone who can, who's following him or even knows of him and hears his story, it helps save their life as well. So kudos to him. For- yeah, I mean, and, and as a man, you know, I don't – I've never been diagnosed with anything, and maybe because I've never sought to be diagnosed, but I've had some really dark times in my life, man, and I'm sure they'll resurface here and there, but, you know, sometimes where you feel like no one can help you because you don't want to expose this darkness to anyone. You don't want people to think differently of you. You don't want your mother to think you're weak or your father to think. So it's like I totally am I'm, I'm so behind this and so happy that he's opened up this Brother You Good hashtag opportunity for our community. I'm so, so happy about that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, listen, thank you as always. Uh, Hot Topic is always one of my favorite parts of the show. Have a great week, and uh, see you again next Monday, okay? Thanks, Steve. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Good night. Right. And when we, when we come back, we're going to talk to Ade and Tayo of IGO. I'll right back after this. Mm.
I would like to receive a nice show. Ego is a premier eyewear company on a mission. The mission is to create a fashionable brand of eco-friendly sunglasses while improving the quality of life for underprivileged children in developing countries. So far, they have provided free eye care to over 40 children in Nigeria. But as they grow, they, expect, they plan to expand their mission uh, to all corners of the world where there is a need. Now, tonight, founders Ide and Tayo join us to tell us more. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Listen, when I was reading about your company, I was just so inspired because I always love when people are giving back. So tell us. Let's start you a day. Tell us about uh, what made you all come up with this concept. Um, so I go up Eagleville, which um, that's that's what we do business as. That's what people know us as. Um, mm -hmm. is Eagleville. Um, started um last I think was well, sometime early last year when I was um in between jobs and um I was thinking of what I could do differently, not just only to better myself, but right. just to give to the community which um where from which I'm from, which is Africa, Nigeria to be precise. And um I mean thinking through things and doing um the research and um from experiences, I mean I'm an engineer by background and um I've worked in retail. So it's just um it's just a perfect match of my passion for fashion and my engineering background. So that's that's how ego started. Okay, okay. And then uh Tyler, you you joined, you became a co uh founder. Tell how, tell me tell us how you got involved. Yeah, well um I I'm, I I like to see myself more as a strategist. So I'm chief strategist of ego and um I became involved with Ego when Yemi shared the story with me. I mean, I, th I think Ego is one of the most beautiful products that was created. And the reason why is this man was in the middle of, you know, trying to decide what was next. And it wasn't like there was a concrete option. And so despite being in such a position to have thought about such a creative idea, you know, I thought it was a winning idea, you know, yeah. and and my background in education, you know, sort of, you know, uh, caters to this mission, which is to focus on children with vision impairment who mm -hmm. can't really speak for themselves. And so right. with Ego, we can go back home and draw awareness to vision impairment as a serious issue which affects the education of children in Nigeria and in the entire sub-Saharan Africa. So prior to, you know, when you come up with this, uh, the idea and this plan, did you already know about the, uh, uh, the eye care issues that were going on in your, in your country? So you aware yes, of that? Um, we, yes, we actually, so that was part of um, the um, research I did, um, I mean, prior to starting the company was um, we, we all grew up in Nigeria and then we never had, um, although we're blessed, I mean, I was opportune to have, I mean, everything I think I needed at that time, but it's pretty much um, a different um, platform to what we have here. You have your health insurance, you have um, your dental insurance, you have your vis I mean, vision insurance, and um, back in Nigeria or back in Africa, we don't have that kind of system in place. And right. mm -hmm. I mean, I was thinking of people that don't have the privilege or that are not as privileged as I was. I'm not saying I was, I mean, I'm just from a middle class family. And I mean, right. people that are not as privileged as us, I mean, how can they afford to pay for those, um, I mean, vision, which which we all know it's pretty much, um, um, what's it called, a significant problem in, in children in sub-Saharan Africa. So it was just one of those things I felt was needed and um, starting something that caters to that need was very important, and that's just um, a calling I think I need to attend to. Right, right. And I think uh, we learned, of course, we learned more as, you know, as we, as we started, um, you, know, co you know, becoming a company because mm -hmm. we then learned the immense um, scarcity of, uh, of support for children's vision. You know, I mean, we are, Nigeria is one of the leading countries in um, in childhood blindness and so it's definitely you know it's definitely something that we 
are very passionate about, and we right. learn more, about, and we continue to learn more about. So, what what was something that surprised you the most about the statistics when you you know start doing more research about childhood blindness? Yeah, well, I, I think the fact that not only is Africa as a continent um, the the leading um, what's it called? The, the, the leading, not only is it that uh, blindness or childhood blindness is most prominent in Africa, mm. but in addition, one in, I think, one in ten children who experience vision impairment end up losing their lives, you know, wow. and so it, 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 it's definitely something that one, we can fix it for the purpose of education, but we can actually fix it also because it affects their life beyond education, you know, and yeah. you, can, you can imagine that a child who is blind will experience more years of blindness than an adult who is blind, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and so that suffering is definitely something that we hope that uh, we will support uh, through this incredible uh, opportunity. Right. And the products... Uh, I'm sure you get that. Sorry, I'm always excited about the product. Oh no, no, no! I was just about to mention the product. I mean, I know. I went to the website, and I mean, those are some very high fashion glasses that you all asked. I mean, and so did you have a lot to do with the design of that? Um, yes, we actually, um, I designed about three of the designs we have online, and um, the other designs we have on was just. Uh, um, a discussion with our suppliers on what we think would actually mm -hmm. um, fit into the styles we um, we want our customers to want our, the styles our customers will prefer. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, yeah, very nice. I encourage you want to go go out there and look at the glasses. I want to mention um, you talked about um, you know a lot of people when they want to they do the research and they find out about an epidemic and they want to get involved. It kind of, kind of, it usually stays there. But you actually have already helped over 40 children already in Nigeria. So, what was the first step after identifying this is what we want our cause to be? Um, how did you initiate next steps into actually m making something happen? Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> you're right. Talking the talk is different from walking right. the walk. You know, right. we, I did, you know, after I hear me you know, decided that this is what we should focus on, that the vision of children is what we should focus on, uh, we thought the next step was to then go home, I mean, and make this happen. And so we partnered with an organization called African Center for Innovation and Leadership Development, and what they did was they helped us identify um, a school with children uh, who are the same target uh, what is in the same target demography of World Health Organization for children at risk, and that's uh, children of 16 months to uh, six years. And so they identified this school in Obomosho, uh, Nigeria, and, um, you know, we worked with the school, and we it was the first time that has ever happened, you know, that uh, they yeah. had a company from the United States you know, to come and, um, you know, give back in such a way. But mm -hmm. it was also the most gratifying thing for us to do because, you know, we, it was the first time I went home feeling like, you know, we're giving back. Right, you know? yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I, I know I answered two questions. The, the simple answer to your question is uh, we, by partnering with organizations like uh, ISIL, we are able to identify, you know, they target schools that we go to and, um, you know, and then the planning goes from there. So the next step is, you know, using the organization to find our target schools. Absolutely. And, you, and I know that the goal is to reach different parts of the globe helping underprivileged children. Um, how, do you, how do you intend on or what, or what is it, not how do you intend, but what do you need from people who, First of all, love the glasses because they're quality eyewear. But what do you? But for people who also want to contribute and donate, what? How can they be involved? 
So yeah. currently, um, I don't think we um, we have that platform in which people can um, donate um, financially. But what we've actually set up was for a pair of sunglasses or for a pair of eyewear you buy or you purchase, a, mm -hmm. a, a portion of that proceed actually a portion of that um, a portion of that glasses or that sale actually goes to paying for a child's eye care exam in Africa. And um, if the child actually needs a prescription glasses, we also pay for that. So it's just a portion of the sales that goes into um, the CSR part of the business. And um, one other thing we did when we actually did our Kickstarter project was we, we gave um, our Kickstarter community an opportunity to travel with us to Africa. So we have um, a couple of people actually going with us this year. Wow, to, wow. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yep. What is it that you want well, people to know? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Take, uh, I, was, I was going to say, so in short, yeah, to support our mission, buy more glasses. Buy the glasses. <laughs> buy the glasses. <laughs> well, but in addition, though, uh, and I'm not sure if we'll have a chance to mention this again, but we should mention it now. So we, we are becoming a lifestyle brand, uh, a lifestyle brand. So mm -hmm. not only do we have glasses, you know, we have other lifestyle accessories and, you know, we have graphic tees, we have booties, and all of these are all going to be ways where people can support our company by, you know, purchasing this. But, and it's coming up live soon. You know, my man has been putting in work on the website. Uh -huh. so we're, we're relaunching yeah. that with a new product. Um, yeah, and so what were the products that you said that you have coming up? Um, so we have our graphic tees, um, graphic okay. t-shirts coming up. Um, we have like the plain tees. Um, we have um the sleeveless hoodies. We have the long sleeve hoodies. We have um women's um African inspired bags. So it's pretty much um several collections um, yeah. that we have coming on board, and we're hoping to have that live on the website, preferably. I mean, hopefully next week. I mean, by the wow. beginning of next week, people would have access to actually. Um, buying that off of our website, and that's also like Tyro said, that's that's also another avenue to, mm -hmm. to give back to that community which we are advocating for. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And then, yeah. do you do you do you think that you would be doing this if you never if you weren't unemployed at the time? Do you think this would always, something would happen, or do you think that being unemployed during that period is what kind of pushed you to to move forward with this process? I, I think at some point it is still going to, um, I'll still probably implement the idea because I've always had the idea of starting my own thing, which is pretty much um, in, in the fashion lifestyle industry. And um, being out of job or being unemployed was just a perfect opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I could sit down and just uh, think about how bad things are going. I could just right. go, Right. I mean, keep myself up and just think of what I can do to better myself and which was, I mean, how I was able to kick the ball rolling and um, thankfully it worked out so far. I mean, it's worked out so far. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So on closing remarks, what is it that you want the consumer, the listener tonight to know about your product? Um, I mean, on the closing remark, our product uh, sustainable so the sunglasses are made out of 100% um, wood and we have another version another collection of the glasses that is made out of recycled plastic and um, bamboo and the apparel line is actually made out of 100% organic cotton so we actually we really stick to I mean our mission and what we stand for we're a sustainable brand sustainable and responsible brand responsible in the sense that we we, we take our environment into consideration of what we actually put out there aside from just um, helping the community, helping the kids from Africa, we're also making the environment more sustainable. Mm -hmm. So pretty much a sustainable brand which I think um, people should um, patronize. Yeah. yeah. And I, and I, and I, I will have to, uh, I will add to that and just to say that, you know, there it's a business, right? And it's a, it's a company that, you know, that makes dope products. I mean, right. our products are really quality, you know, yeah. but I think the most important thing that people should get is, you know, when you buy this product, not only do you look good, you know, you are also doing good. And by right. doing good, you feel good. So look good, mm -hmm. do good, feel good, you know? 
That's the best way to say it. And tell everybody mm-hmm. where they can go right now and, and purchase uh, the glasses. So right now, um, you can people can get glasses, and um, hopefully the opera line on www.igovillee.com. And um, we also have a retail store in Connecticut, Idiom, um, in New Haven. Um, we have one in Massachusetts on, on Charles Street, um, Omelie Boutique. And um, we have one in Chicago, which is um, Joe Jaden Shoe Store. So those are the three retail centers we have our products in, and uh, we do sell on our website and Amazon. So th- those are like the three five channels we have currently. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Well, listen, a day, uh, Tyler, thank you so much for coming on and telling us more about this. I mean, I think it's amazing that not only are you making people look good, but you help them give back. So thank you so much for being on here tonight, and I wish you continued success. Uh, I'm going to go on and give me a pair. We'll be finished this. <laughs> Thank you, Steven. <laughs> Thank you, Steven. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you. And for more information about Igo, please go to our website, the com. We'll be right back after this. Features picture me over you when you all over me, Charlotte. But if you gotta let it tell us straight, cause I just ain't the type of chick to eat and left on play. But if not, everything is everything, and you'll see. And don't you worry about the thing and the trick is on me. So, what up? Come on, shut it, let me holler at you. Now, tell me, can I be if you with me? Oh, shut it, let me holler at you. That's the way I'm trying to make it be. I really want to make you 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's our show. I'd like to thank Tayo and Ade for joining us to tell us all about I Go. And for you at home, thanks for listening. Have a great week. Good night.